Hello again and welcome to another edition of the Real Ale Guide. Today's beer is a beer that's come all the way from America. It was made in Britain, taken over to America. It's an export only drink. It's Young's Double Chocolate Stout. I have hunted and tried to find this beer all over the place. And I, he I end up getting it sent all the way from America by uh, my good friend Chad. Um, Chad's Beer Reviews, Chad9976. I'm over the moon to be trying this drink. Um, it's, it says on the, on the pint, on the pint can here, it's pure luxury. Um, double chocolate stout ale with natural chocolate flavour added. It's 5.2% in the volume. Um, we're going to crack this can open. I'll be very careful with this can because it's got a nitrogen widget in the bottom, um, which, well, it's, it's just great stuff. Okay, let's open it in front of the camera. Whee, whoa. Something just buzzed along in the bottom of that can there. I, just, <laughs> I thought it was going to overflow, but no. I'm using my um, Vertical Morgan glass here for this. Um, let's pour it out. Oh, are you getting this? Look at this. It looks like pure chocolate in a glass. Oh, would you look at that. I'm just going to stand here for a moment and, and let you take all of that in. Look at that. Oh. It's a good two finger head. It's got that um, Guinness quality about it where, um, I don't know if you've seen the Riding Horses advert, where, where you see the, the, the beer like whooshing around in the glass. It's got that type of quality to it. I think that that is purely from the nitrogen widget. I think I got every, I want to get every last drop of this in here. Um, I'm going to let this set in a moment. Just place it there. I'm going to read about read on the can because although it's it's come from the UK, it's got it's got to have the American laws on the on the on the can. There's a few different things on the can which is different from a UK style can or, or bottle. Um, there's a big kind of plaque here, an emphasis that the pregnant women shouldn't drink and. Um, don't drink and drive type of thing. That this one, there's a big emphasis on that. Um, and it says brewed by Wells and Young's Brewing Co. Limited, Bedford, UK. Imported by Bullockus Marketing Incorporated, Station College Station, and that's America. Internet site. If you want to get in touch with Wells, it's www.wellsandyoungs.co.uk. Now. As I said, I've been looking for this for a long, long time. Can't wait to try it. The head, take a look at that. That the the beer now has gone. It's completely black. It's completely black with a good two finger, creamy, frothy head. Just from the head, it tastes absolutely, it tastes wonderful. I'm just going to have to dig into this. Thank you, my friend Chad, for sending the beard again. Oh. Wow. The, the only other, oh that is so good, the only other um, chocolate stout I've really had which really emphasises on chocolate is the Meantime Chocolate um, from Meantime Brewing in London. This smashes it away completely, this is wonderful stuff, this is by far the, well, 
There's got to be the premium chocolate stout out there. Oh, it's wonderful. On the can here, they say 1831. I don't know if you can see that there. But actually, the brewery in London, the youngest brewery, which is now closed, actually dates back to 1511. Very, very old brewing qualities in the UK here. But I don't know how long they've been making this actual double chocolate stout, but it's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I'm going to rate this beer now. Oh. I would give it a 10. I really would give it a 10. But I'm going to give it a 9. I'm going to give it a 9. The reason being is drinkability. I think if you were to finish that and look to buy another one it may be a little bit too much it may be just a bit too too sweet or too heavy it tastes wonderful it's probably the ultimate it's, for me if I was going to get a dessert beer it would be this this is the ultimate dessert beer fantastic It's the only reason I'm going to give it a 9 is the fact that I don't think you could drink 6 or 7 of these or, or 4 or 5 of these. I really don't think. I think you would struggle. So for that basis, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 for the Real Ale Guide. Um, thanks again to Chad. Um, I talked to Chad quite a lot, banging about over the emails, emailing each other. He's, he's a nice guy. Um, Watch his channels, Chad9976 and Chad's Beer Reviews. He sent me a load of beer. Um, thanks for watching Real Ale Guide. If you want to get in touch with me, Facebook Real Ale Guide, Twitter Real Ale Today. But most of all, leave your comments on YouTube. Let me know what you think of this beer, if you've had it, if you've tried it. Or subscribe to my channel. But thanks for watching the Real Ale Guide. Tune into the next episode. Cheers.